scouting cameras to me really can provide so much intel. You know, there's so many different places and scenarios that you can put up scouting cameras at, whether you're looking at trails, you know, trying to judge which direction deer or any game species are coming from, feeding locations, whether you're putting out, uh, you know, attractive blocks like a quick draw or you're, you've got it near a corn feeder or a protein feeder or over a food plot. Scouting cameras are very effective around feeding areas. You know, this is an on-demand protein feeder that we use primarily from probably about the 1st of March till the end of September, and we don't use it anymore. But it's a great place to be able to get lots of data on your herd, whether you're looking at antler development, you're looking at, you know, fawn recruitment, you're looking at even how your turkey uh, population's doing. Setup-wise for scouting cameras, there's a lot of different things to keep in mind. Uh, you know, first you've got to decide on how to mount it. You know, there's so many different ways to mount it. You know, a lot of these cameras come with straps. You can use baling wire. Uh, you can screw things into the into trees. But you know, there's so many places out there where you just can't do any of that because there's not wood, there's not brush that allows you to do that. And that's where something like the ground auger by Dead Deer really comes into play. This ground auger system is part of the Dead Deer lineup, and it allows you to be able to screw your camera mount in in a lot of those locations that you you know normally either one can't or two have to rely on a different type of a mounting system and in this case here I basically got both a corn feeder and a food plot now that I'll be able to get photos of where normally I couldn't even have come in from this angle. You, know, you can see on this particular stealth cam I've got it screwed into a tree mount right here and it's Triggering point's probably actually a little bit too high. Probably I'd be better off and be suited to put it right around here. I like things closer to around that waist high level. I've actually got this one aimed at a feeder uh, along this power line, and you can see they pretty much uh, blasted this area out. It's pretty pretty well worn right here, and it's a, it's a location that, you know, I can monitor it all year long. You know, once you get a scouting camera placed in a lot of locations, then you've got to kind of figure out how you want to set it up. I love to go into the custom settings on this particular model and many other ones as well. So once I get it set up to the exact way that I like to do it, you know, I want to know the date because that's very helpful for you as a hunter to be able to know what's coming and going. And in this setup here, it's so easy to change. Right now we're at the end of August, the 29th. If I need to change it, it's as simple as just hitting enter, and you'll start to see that month change. It'll be the same for the date and the year, and you can just adjust it up and down to exactly what you're looking at. Then when you're ready to go to the next setting, you just hit enter again. Then you start to scroll down. We look at our time. It's 9.42 in the morning. We'll go to the exact time zone that we're setting in. So whether you guys are hunting Eastern, Central, Western, Mountain, whatever, the time format, I like 12 hours. Some people like military time. They've got the option to set it up to that. Then you go down and I've got mine set up in the photo mode, which is what I'm looking for. I want it to operate 24 hours a day, seven days a week, because I'm looking to capture everything that's coming in and out of the exact area. Now this is a cool feature that I really like. You've got the option basically to set the quality of the photo that you want. How this plays a big role for a lot of people is, uh, you know, your memory card's only going to be able to hold so much. Now, I typically use a 32 gig card on mine, but I like a very high resolution photo because I want to be able to see everything that, you know, I'm looking at. But you can set it as low as 2 or as high as 14. You know, scouting camera set up for a lot of people, that's an addiction. You know, it's not uncommon for me to run 20 or 40 different cameras at multiple locations all over the place. And I can't wait to open them up, grab the, the cards out, put them in my computer and start studying them. And I mean, there's just so much fun things that can, can happen when you start looking at scouting camera photos. The Stealth Cam G45NG Pro is 10% smaller than the original G series and features a dull matte finish camouflage pattern providing no unwanted reflections. This premier scouting camera features 45 no glow IR emitters to help illuminate up to 100 feet out for great nighttime photos allowing you better coverage than ever before. In addition, you can set up matrix advanced blur reduction so you're no longer getting those fuzzy out of focus photos we all despise. The camera also comes with video and photo settings, allowing you to capture the best images for your needs. The Stealth Cam 45NG can capture as many as nine photos every time it triggers. 
This feature enables you to get as many looks and angles on a game species as possible to help you plan for your next hunt. So, if you're looking for a top-of-the-line scouting camera, we highly recommend the Stealth Cam G45 NG Pro. Stealth Cam, join the trail cam revolution. Deer Gear TV is brought to you by Cabela's, it's in your nature. Thompson Center, America's master gun maker. Hi-Viz, see what you've been missing. Stealth Cam, join the trail cam revolution. The full line of Yamaha ATVs and side-by-side -side vehicles with class-leading durability and reliability. All real world tough. It's in our stomping grounds, in our playground. It's in our sights and our commitment. It's in him. It was in them, and it will continue with her. It's in my nature. Is it in yours? What I love about the Bradley Smoker is that it cooks everything perfectly and it holds all the juices in. So today we are going to be smoking some barbecue ribs, some venison sausage, and some dove, which is awesome. You will never grill me doves again. <laughs> I have to have them in the Bradley Smoker. I would prefer to use the Bradley Smoker every time I cook. Well, that's really true because I love yeah. this thing. Okay. No lie. For more recipes, log on to bradleysmoker.com. When perfection is your goal, awards come with the territory. In 2016, Ten Point and Wicked Ridge Crossbows collected an unprecedented five best-in-class industry awards. The Reverse Draw Carbon Nitro RDX, Best Crossbow by Field and Stream and Peterson's Hunting. The Forward Draw Turbo GT, Best Crossbow by Outdoor Life and Game and Fish. And the Budget-Minded Warrior G3, Great Buy by Field and Stream. Regardless of the features you want or the budget you have, Ten Point has an award-winning crossbow for you. The thing about public land is that most people hunt the same old beaten path. The thing about you is, you're not most folks. Introducing the new TC Compass only by Thompson Center. Follow your own compass with America's master gun maker. My secret weapon? Abercom. It's the first ever calming scent. It's real smells from bedding areas. To deer, that means safety. Evercom reassures even nervous deer. Which can help you get the shot. I use Evercom all season long. Put it on your boots, your pants, and your decoy. It's stick form, won't wash away or freeze. Evercom. 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 From the family deer farm at Conquest Scents. Tree stands are awesome places to spend fall and winter watching the woods while dreaming of big whitetails. However, those scenic views and enjoyable times can turn deadly quickly if proper precautions aren't taken. No one plans to fall, but it happens. The good news is that commercial tree stands continue to evolve, making them safer than ever before. With these new features, we can avoid, or at the very least minimize, the possibility of mishaps. Here is something new on the market from Skyline Safety Systems. Skyline Safety System is redefining tree stand safety. Our revolutionary safety system could be the fastest and safest way to enter a tree stand, whether it be a ladder stand or a hang-on stand with the use of our sticks. The patented Skyline Safety System is made of lightweight, high-strength aluminum, 
with two pivot arms that close using a pulley system and ratchet strap. Simply mount the Skyline Safety System on your ladder stand's back bar with the universal mounting kit. Secure the tree bracket around the tree and place the stand up against the tree. The ratchet strap closes the pivot arms tightly around the tree, allowing you to secure your stand prior to stepping off the ground. This will eliminate what's called the death crawl. Everybody's familiar with it. It's where you place your ladder stand against the tree and inch your way up hoping it doesn't fall before you can secure the top. The Skyline safety sticks are also available for use with hang-on stands. Simply assemble, much like other climbing sticks, place the sticks up against the tree. The ratchet strap closes the pivot arms tight around the tree allowing you to secure your sticks to the tree prior to stepping off the ground. We also offer a lifeline securing system that allows you to safely secure your lifeline to the tree prior to stepping off the ground. Here at Skyline Safety System, we're committed to helping you return home safely to your family. Learn more and order yours today at SkylineSafetySystem.com. Deer Gear TV is brought to you by Yamaha ATV, real world tough. Smith & Wesson Performance Center, performance when it matters most. Skyline Safety Systems. Purina Quick Draw, a difference you can see. Stealth Cam. Proven reliability. Proven quality. Proven performance. Stealth Cam continues to push the boundaries of technology and innovation with its next generation of trail cameras. Proven performance in extreme conditions. Proven. Stealth Cam. Join the Trail Cam Revolution. The art of the hunt is not painted with a broad brush. Its eye is in the details. The note on the refrigerator. A set of broadheads, tried and true. The well-worn boots, soaked in doe estrus. And a Garmin Rhino. The only GPS with two-way radio. Prepare your measuring tapes, Pope and Young. It's whitetail season in Rhino Country. Oh, nice shot. You put the cool in life. We put the cool in coolers. Arctic ice. You know, the Turkey Nader is a phenomenal knife for those people that are looking for a knife that's going to be great for deboning a lot of your birds. And you're looking at a razor sharp blade here on the Turkey Nader. It literally will allow you to put it right up against the breastbone and make easy fillet cuts right along the breast, be able to pull them straight off. So if you're looking at cleaning, birds, turkeys, dove, ducks, geese, the bubble blade turkinator, it's the knife that's gonna handle the job for you. You know, one of my favorite ways to be able to really get a feel and a sense for all the game in an area is put out something like this quick draw attractant block. And it's as simple as setting it out and coming back and checking the scouting cameras to see what's coming in. You know, in this location right here, you never know what's going to show up on the scouting cameras. I mean, it's generally a, a pretty wide range of, of game that shows up. For me, a lot of the benefits include being able to ensure that the deer are in good shape in those off-season, high heat, uh, high stress times of the year. It also plays a giant role in helping the, the does be able to find nutrition, to be able to feed their fawns. And for you guys in those areas that it's legal, you can place those out near and around your hunting areas to be able to hold deer. And finally, for you guys that are addicted to scouting cameras like I am, you can put them out in those areas and be able to see what's coming in. And you'll be able to see instantaneous results once you get these blocks set out. Deer Gear TV is brought to you by Grove Tech. Go hunt. We'll carry the gun. Garmin. Arctic Ice. We put the cool in coolers. Ingalls got the original high performance cooler and a whole lot more.
Engel coolers go with the original. Walker's continues to push the boundaries with innovations and technology in the shooting, sport, and hunting category. Introducing the all-new Razor Series, maximum protection, industry-leading noise reduction ratings. With advanced circuitry, SAC, sound-activated compression circuit, true form, super slim profile. Reliable, dependable, comfortable hearing protection. Fulfilling and exceeding the needs of every shooter. Heavy duty, rugged, and designed for the big game hunter and angler. The Food Saver Game Saver Titanium Vacuum Sealer has the power and performance to seal in the freshness of your game and fish for up to three years, five times longer than standard storage methods. And with its extra wide dual and repetitive sealing capabilities, that's a ton of big game savings. Tough tested and rated 4.8 out of five stars by outdoorsmen just like you. The Food Saver Titanium System, it's a true game changer. High Viz Shooting Systems knows that your shooting performance matters in all conditions. All High Viz shooters experience faster target acquisition with our durable light wave sights. Featuring easily interchangeable light pipes, light wave sights give your eyes the exact sight picture you crave. Shoot High Viz. See what you've been missing. Nikon's no-fault policy was created for those who continually push the envelope, travel the farthest, stay the longest, brave the most hostile elements. We do our best to deliver on our promise of a lifetime of performance. And we'll stand with you should accidents happen. Trust earned. Nikon. Every day, your eyes are exposed to dust, debris, and wind. Only Wiley X removable gaskets block it all out, and your eyes remain safe. Wiley X, absolute premium protection for sportsmen. The outdoors. It's been my playground for decades. I enjoy everything about it. Like me, I bet you also look at the outdoors as your own personal playground. And like me, I bet you're always looking for the newest challenge. So come join me in my Smith & Wesson Performance Center handgun and let's share a new experience in the outdoors. Performance when it matters most from the Smith & Wesson Performance Center. I've been hanging stands all my life, nothing to it. All you do is load yourself down with lattice sticks, climb the tree, hope you don't fall. Ah! Don't be like this guy. Get a Skyline Safety Stick and have your stick secured before you step off the ground, like this guy. Skyline Safety System is redefining tree stand safety with its all new Skyline Safety Sticks that allow you to secure the climbing sticks to the tree prior to stepping off the ground. For more information and to order yours today, visit SkylineSafetySystem.com. If it's feasible, both financially and labor-wise, year-round feeding is absolutely the best time to feed deer protein pellets. This keeps those animals on a constant level of nutrition and the results will soon be very obvious. As we all know, climate is never constant. Therefore, the brows and forge, which are the mainstay of a white-tailed deer's diet, are never constant. When you get your deer herd established on a steady regimen of high-quality deer feed, you even out those highs and lows Mother Nature throws at us. During spring and summer, March through September, this is antler growth and doe lactation times. Now is when you need to be feeding a 20% deer pellet, such as Perina Antler Max 20%. When September arrives and bucks shed the velvet off their antlers and fawns have switched over to a diet other than the does milk, now you can switch to a 16% pellet that is higher in fat, such as Perina Rut and Conditioner. They no longer need the 20% protein, but will use the extra fat to get them through the harder winter months and the rut. Getting started on a supplemental feed program should be well thought out and executed. It helps you have an aerial map. Your protein feeder should be applied at a rate of one feeder for every 200 to 250 acres. These feeders should be evenly spaced across your property. Key points to look for are areas near water and cover. 
If hogs or cattle are present, your feeder sites will have to be fenced off. To do this, use 12 16-foot hog panels and 24 four-foot T-posts. Set a stake in a cleared area. Tie a rope with a finished length of 27 foot 6 inches over the stake. Pull tight and walk in a circle, spraying the ground at the end of the rope with spray paint. Now, start setting posts at 8 foot intervals around the painted circle. After posts are set, stand up and wire your panels to them. Leave one post out of the center of a panel so that you can use that for a gate. You will end up with a circular pin that is approximately 60 foot across. When you first start filling your feeders, don't fill them completely up. It will take some time for that deer to get used to the new feeders and the new feed. Mix pellets 50-50 with quality deer corn when filling feeders. Also scatter some corn on the ground around the new feeders. Feeders should be checked and filled on a regular basis and should never be allowed to run completely out. Feeders should be maintained and feed kept fresh and dry. After the deer get accustomed to the new feeders and feed, cut the corn out completely. Farmers such as raccoons can be a problem and should be controlled. Come early August, put a good game camera on your protein feeders. You will find at this time most of the activity will be at night and will be mostly bucks. You can use these pictures to compare the antler size of known bucks from year to year. You will see a difference in both antler size and body condition. This information can be used in your management plans for harvest of either trophy or cull bucks for the upcoming deer season.